Okay, good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss about environmental issues. In environmental issues, already we have completed about air pollution. After air pollution, we are going to start about water pollution. Okay, why we are to discuss about the water pollution in that important points is that we becomes in examination, competitive exams, so that we are going to discuss about the water pollution. Okay, especially for in water pollution, before discussing about the water pollution, especially in an air, okay, in an air, especially how much of percentage, 71 percentage of covered with water, earth is covered with what water, 71 percentage of what earth is covered with water. Okay, remaining only land is there. So in that 71 percentage, 97 percentage of water is what ocean or uh, uh, oceans having in ocean. That is not useful for anything. So 97 percent, approximately 96 exact uh, percentage is 96.03 percentage of what oceans and sea in that is there. Remaining only 3 percent is there. 3% is what rivers and lakes and lakes and ponds and groundwater and remaining only 3% of water is there. Okay. So, okay, water in earth is occupied with 3%, 1 by third it is covered with more water only. So, water is a very important component. It is called universal solvent also universal solvent also. Why? Because you can call universal solvent means for so many solutes, so many minerals and are dissolved in water. So that it is called universal solvent. Very, very important. Universal solvent. Okay. This is the basic about what water. Especially if you observe it there, we are discussing about water pollution. Generally causes of water pollution. Already, what is the meaning of water pollution? Which word, whatever unwanted waste, poisonous materials enter into the water. Unwanted, poisonous, unwanted, poisons, poisonous, toxic or toxic or waste materials, waste materials enter into the water, especially it is caused water pollution. So, what are the causes of water pollution? Generally, if you observe the causes of causes of water pollution, causes of water pollution, generally, what are the causes of water pollution? Generally, one is what? Okay, domestic savages. Domestic savages is also what especially for most of the towns, the water, rivers, lakes, ponds, in villages also, especially polluted, the reason is what domestic sewage, whatever waste water is coming from what, coming from what, especially for homes, household wastages also, nothing but we can call household wastages, domestic wastages, maybe it is in solid, liquid, okay, okay, especially for most of the domestic wastages is what, biodegradable, biodegradable substances only, biodegradable substances, but it is entering into the water especially for domestic, one of the reason is what water pollution is domestic savage and second one is what industrial wastages, industrial wastages is also one of the reason of what especially for water pollution, okay and third one is what especially for agro, agro means what in agriculture, agro, agro chemical wastages, agro chemical wastages is also cause of what, especially for water pollution and agro chemical wastages and also thermal wastages, thermal wastages is also cause of what water pollution, generally the water pollution, human being is the reason of water pollution, even natural disasters also cause of sometimes very less percentage of natural disasters also cause of water pollution. Generally, the first one is domestic savages. These are the causes of what? Water pollution. What happens if increasing of what? These domestic savages, industrial wages, agriculture wastages and also thermal wastages into the water. In domestic wages, wastages, for example, in domestic savages, domestic means what from home, domestic savage, whatever waste water that is we can call savage, 
domestic sewage in that water if 0.1 percentage of impurities having in that water 0.1 percentage of impurities that water is unfit for drinking that is not suitable for drinking that water is not suitable for drinking so that that is we can call especially for in domestic wastages if in that water if 0.1 percentage of impurities is there that water is unfit for drinking it is not suitable for drinking okay domestic sewage mainly consists biodegradable organic matter so what happened this domestic wastages industrial wastages industrial industrial wastages these all enter into the lakes so that i'm right here enters into the into the lakes lakes ponds rivers whatever is there in fresh water bodies it is entered into the fresh water bodies what will be happen it is cause of increasing bod already i am told bod means for biological oxygen demand oxygen demand okay what is the meaning of biological oxygen demand oxygen demand is increased where it is increased oxygen demand in lakes and ponds lakes and ponds in water bodies so in water bodies water bodies means lakes rivers lakes in water bodies oxygen demand is increased biological oxygen demand is increased why biological oxygen demand is increasing why because in the what happen actually so many microorganisms when these what domestic sewages and industrial sewages enter into the enter into the water when these are enter into the water what will be happen these okay for example domestic sewages onion peels whatever is there uh, fruit peels waste food impurities biodegradable substances enter into the okay, water what will be happen it is polluted contaminated that biodegradable substances is degraded by microorganisms so microorganisms what they are doing the microorganisms starts from what degrading degrading or decomposing so when they are starting from decomposing microorganisms require more oxygen more oxygen they require to degrade the substances they require what more oxygen so they utilize more oxygen who utilize more oxygen microorganisms utilizing more oxygen so what happen whatever dissolved oxygen dissolved oxygen it is especially for dissolved oxygen already everything whatever oxygen is the oxygen is consumed by microorganism so levels of oxygen is decreased in water when the levels of oxygen is decreased in oxygen levels of oxygen decreased in, in water automatically oxygen demand is increasing so that is we can call bod so bod is the what is the use of bod bod is a form of index measuring pollution load in sewage bod is form of index form of index measuring okay it is how it is useful form of index for measuring pollution load form of index for measuring how it is useful measuring pollution load pollution load in sewage pollution load in sewage so how they measure the bod biological oxygen demand can right capital letters only biological oxygen demand that mean they will observe okay what they are observed that mean microorganism within 5 to 7 days how how much oxygen they consume how much oxygen how much oxygen consumed by microorganisms consumed by microorganisms microorganisms within 5 to 7 days within 5 to 7 days uh, when how oxygen levels are decreased in the water so that there are measuring especially for bod okay biological oxygen in this demand 
So what happens when the biological oxygen is demand is increased? When the biological oxygen is dim, demand is increased, aquatic animals, most aquatic animals are the cause of what aquatic animals are death. Why aquatic animals are dead? In the no oxygen. In the pond, lake, reservoir, whatever is there in water body, oxygen levels are decreased. That means so many organisms are caused. It cause of indirectly organism, aquatic organisms are death of what? Especially for B body, the cause of B body. Next one, okay, eutrophication. So what is eutrophication? Eutrophication means what? Eutrophication. So, in water, what may be happen actually, even I am told what domestic savages, industrial savages, agrochemical, chemical savages, agrochemical wastages. Agrochemical means what? In agriculture, we are using so many pesticides, okay, uh, insecticides, pesticides, and uh, urea, and fertilizers, so many we are using. That is, finally, slowly, what will be happen? These agrochemicals or pesticides are nutrients, nutrients that we need. The nutrients are enter into the water, enter into the water. When they are enter into the water, how they enter, how they enter means what? Through with rain, water, through with what? Especially channels, canals, it is so finally it is entered into the water bodies. Which are entered, okay, nutrients are entered. How they enter? The reason is what? Domestic savages are industrial savages and agrochemical also sometimes what will be happen? It is entered into the water body. When they enter into the water body, into the water bodies, water bodies means ponds, lake, rivers, and whatever is there, reservoirs, that is we can call water bodies. When they are entered into the water bodies, what will be happen actually? The water bodies are enrich of nutrients. Enrich of nutrients means what? What is the meaning of enrich of nutrients? Increase the nutrients percentage in water. When it is increasing the nutrient percentage in water, what will be happen actually? That is nothing but we can call nutrification. Nutrification means for increasing the more nutrients percentage in water, increasing the nutrients levels in the water, that is we can call eutrophication. Eutrophication indirectly class of what? Algal low. Okay, eutrophication, what type of nitrogen, phosphorus, okay, potassium, sulfur, nitrogen, these substances are entered into the water. When they are entered into the water, it is an indirectly cause of what? Algal bloom. What is the meaning of algal bloom? Increasing. What increasing? Increasing the number of the number of alga. Number of algae. Increasing number of algae it is cause of what algal bloom. Okay. That means what in that water, whatever water is there, automatically what is the meaning of alga? Alga means the phytoplankton, nothing but euclinoid different. Diflazolates, di okay, whatever is there, and phytoplatons and small plants, they increase in growth rate is increasing very fast. They are growing very fast. Why? Because they are growing very fast means what the nutrients are already entered into the water. They utilize that water nutrients and also increasing the growth rate of the what phytoplatons and also some type of small plants which are floating and non-floating and also what okay especially for that type of plant when the plants are growing in that water that is nothing but we can call algal bloom that means algal bloom example is what water hyacinth water hyacinth already i told water hyacinth is the example nothing but we can call iconia iconia also this is the example this is we can call terror of bengal terror of Bengal. So that what will be happen? This water I see on this is the uh, what we call weed plant. What we call this is the weed. Already you know what is the meaning of weed. Weed means what? It is not useful for anything. Undesirable plant. That undesirable plant in growing in water bodies. It is covering especially for in the it is covering the water so that the water surface. What will be happen? The sunlight is not goes in easily into the water so photosynthesis is not occur indirectly so many aquatic animals are died the reason are what algal bloom also so okay indirectly whatever the waste stages are entered into the water it is a cause of eutrophication the enrich of nutrients and also cause of what algal bloom example is water hyacinth water hyacinth also called iconia and also called what terror of bengal also very very important so try to remember that one next one what 
eutrophication next one it is indirectly cause of what biomagnification what is the meaning of biomagnification so here biomagnification means these wastages is also called biomagnification magnification what is the meaning of biomagnification yesterday i told biomagnification means what some nutrients some chemicals like chemicals like ddt dichloro diphenol trichloroethane okay ddt and also what mercury these are what mercury non biodegradable substances these are not degrade but when these type of chemicals are enter into the body when these type of chemicals are enter into the body sorry when these chemicals are enter into the water bodies that mean in water these are dissolved in water when these are dissolved in water actually some phytoplanktons phytoplanktons means phytoplanktons plantons means what which type of photosynthetic microscopic photosynthetic plants in water that is with phytoplanktons and zooplanktons zooplanktons especially for already we know zooplanktons okay and also what small fishes small fishes and large fishes large fishes large fishes and also what birds it is enter finally what happened whatever chemicals entered into the water bodies slowly it is enter into the plants body okay for example in plants body this is enter into the 0.003 ppm what is the meaning of full form of ppm ppm mean part per millions part per millions that mean okay in milligrams how many milligrams okay milligrams parts per milligrams so that milligrams of liter how many milligrams grams per liter so it is also called what parts per million and ppm means what for example first of all try to understand biomagnification means what whatever the chemicals entered into the water that chemicals accumulate what is the meaning of accumulation use the word accumulation accumulation means what stores accumulation in water bodies when they accumulate in water bodies automatically these are transferred through with what food chain first it is entered into the phytoplankton it is entered into the phytoplankton only 0.03 example 0.03 ppm what is ppm part per million what is the meaning of part per million milligrams per liter in a liter some milligrams of ddt example ddt milligrams of ddt enter into the phytoplankton zooplankton means what microscopic small organisms microscopic what aquatic small insects these are eating phytoplankton so it is increasing what 0.04 what ppm so in ddt is accumulated in zooplankton also and ddt is what in as what well, next one what as in food chain it is entering to the 0.05 ppm is enter into the what especially small fishes and small fishes 2 ppm enter into the large fishes and large fishes to what finally it is enter into the 5 ppm enter into the 5 ppm enter into the what birds not only birds you know when these also it is entered which is entered ddt not only ddt okay some chemicals which are harmful chemicals even mercury you know when thermal wastages are so slowly is enter into the body accumulates in body okay finally what will happen in birds the accumulation of ddt or other chemicals are increasing 
this ddt or other accumulation of other uh, whatever chemical it is a cause of war indirectly decrease the population of decrease the population of population of what decrease the population of birds so it decrease the population of birds how it decrease that is important exam in compulsory question exam how the decrease means what especially for when the DPT enter into the body it decrease the metabolism of calcium carbonate okay already we know okay birds are laying eggs the laying eggs the egg shell is what whatever laid egg shell is very delicate it is laid egg shell delicate shell it is laid egg with what delicate shell already you know what is the meaning of delicate shell especially for whatever egg is covered with what shell it is made up of calcium carbonate so ddt affects calcium carbonate decrease the calcium carbonate already so that what will be happen outside the layer whatever shell is there in egg it is not formed in proper way so that when delicate egg shell when they lay the eggs automatically the egg is broken when the egg is broken automatically it is not useful for what especially for brooding so population is birds population is slowly decreasing okay it is also one of the reason of what especially for bio magnification so okay bio magnification and also what especially what will be happen a wet spongy acidic god composed of decayed vegetables matter is called a bug so in water what happen bog 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 means what this vegetable matter vegetable matter vegetable means what in domestic vegetables whatever releasing in the vegetable matter what will be happen starts from decomposing okay a wet and uh, spongy acidic acidic ground composed of decayed vegetable matter is called a bark okay a bark try to remember composed vegetable matter nothing but composed vegetable matter that is we can call a bark okay so composed and spongy acidic that mean what water is polluted by what domestic wastages like what especially for what we call acidic wastages also vegetable wastages also in next one okay causes of what thermal wastages what is the meaning of thermal waste thermal means what temperature so industries some household also sometimes what industries are releasing especially high temperature whatever is the industry there are cooling to cooling the instruments or whatever they use in what missions for coolness to do the coolness to cooling them they are using the water that water finally they are sending into the rivers lakes so that we are seen in newspaper so many times what we are seeing so many fishes are died the reason of what they sending the thermal that means they sending the high temperature water into the water bodies it is called it is cause of what death of so many aquatic animals and last concept about the water pollution ecological sanitation i'm right here ecological sanitation ecological sanitation ecological sanitation what is the meaning of ecological sanitation surroundings cleaning the surroundings in the ecological sanitation we are discussing about iscon toilets iscon toilets what is the meaning of iscon toilets iscon toilets is nothing but we can call dry composting toilets dry composting composting toilets especially these iscon toilets are dry composting toilets which country they started from using sri lanka sri lanka and also kerala 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 in that the government started the using what iscon toilets iscon eco san or so we can call eco scan okay you have to use the word eco san 
eco sanitizer toilets eco sanitizer toilets are eco toilets they are using in which country started means for sri lanka and kerala kerala in our state in our country kerala also they are in that started what is contaminated that mean what is the meaning of dry composting toilets what is the meaning of dry composting toilets manasi they are not using what water they are not using the water to fluctuation that mean what after especially for nowadays we are using western indian model okay after whatever is the waste material we are sending okay whatever excretory material women excretory material we are okay sending into the finally we are sending into the what especially for uh, in, uh, in uh, finally it is sending into the outside whatever okay uh, garbage is there we are sending into the garbage we are sending like a sewage water waste water that mean that is we are poured so much of water to clean whatever western and also indian uh, whatever is the indian models okay we are pouring we are using lot of water finally whatever water we poured that is finally entered into the water bodies like ponds lakes rivers and finally so what will be happen in cities we are observed in garbages there are sending women excretory material everything there are sending into the garbages only in sewage water as a sewage water they are sending outside what will be happen indirectly this cause of pollution so sri lanka and uh, what government kerala government started these eco sand toilets okay dry composting toilets okay so that what will be happen there are not what poured water what they are doing they are doing what especially for whatever excretory material they that excretory material they are using as a natural fertilizers what they are using they are using that excretory excretory material as a natural fertilizers natural fertilizers natural fertilizers means what don't think about that part even that whatever urea excretory material of human beings whatever is that they are sending that one they are using as a natural fertilizers to the some crops i think actually everyone is uh, everyone's likes what potato okay potato actually potato is cultivating what especially for some areas they are adding work especially for women is great also so this is what water causes of water pollution and also important points about bod algal bloom eutrophication about what water pollution so it is a cause of water pollution now what we are going to discuss about that one okay soil pollution just a minute okay one minute